Zombie Apocalypse. What is up friends and fans, Mad Llama Gaming here, and today we are taking a look at the much anticipated game, The Rift Breaker. Keep in mind that I am currently playing the demo, which is available on Steam for a limited time, so I'm sure many changes are yet to come. True StarCraft 2 fans should definitely take a look at this RPG base building tower defense game because the vibes are very similar to the campaign of StarCraft 2, just more intense. If you enjoyed this video or would like to see more base building games on this channel, be sure to leave a like. Also let me know in the comments what you enjoyed about this demo or what improvements you would like to see in the full release. That being said, let's jump right into a new game. You'll see why I mentioned StarCraft 2 you'll notice right away that the main character and like all the creatures all kind of resemble StarCraft there. All right. Looks like we're at the new planet. Rift jump successful. Sensors online, Rift weapons activated. We're ready to go. Rift Breaker Novak, please report. Houston, this is Ashley. Reporting Rift Jump successful. Roger that. Begin field base setup. Ashley. Construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. Looks it will like allow you to, to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. We don't have enough carbonium to build an HQ. Let's scout for a deposit okay, yeah, and set up our resources. base close to it. We need to move Some quick. Enemies. It's probably a matter of time before the natives spot us. We've located a carbonium deposit. Okay, move on to the deposit and start drilling. Okay, so the controls are pretty easy here. Just simple WASD. And then the left mouse button controls the left arm, right mouse and right mouse button controls the right arm, and then you have different guns for each arm that you can change. But you have a limited supply of ammo, which can be replenished replenished once you get a armory, I believe. So we just need to go ahead and get some mines so we can build our headquarters. And we'll have to gather that ourselves right now, but eventually all this can be automated. We've gathered enough resources to construct a headquarters building. Yay! Finally. Let's place it close to a carbonium a deposit. Resources. This will help us speed up resource production. Okay, so now we need to build a headquarters somewhere. Yeah, we need it. we want one that is close to one of these ores. Out around a little bit more. Here's another one. Oh, hello. Those things came out of the grass. How tall is this grass? Just cutting down some of this grass so I can see more. Also, you can use the grass for a biomass generator later on. Which really helps with the energy. Alright, let's go ahead and build a uh, headquarters right in between both of these ores, and we can use one for mining and then one for actually generating power. Let's see. Yeah, this is about good. HQ construction in progress. Sometimes I wish we could fast forward this part of the simulation. Don't Captain Novak! Let me remind you that even though this is a simulated training exercise, you are expected to perform as if it was your real mission on Galatea 37. We need to expand the base. Let's build a carbonium factory to do the digging for us. Okay. Yes, so we've go got ahead. much more interesting things to do. Let's automate this. So let's build one of these factories. I think we could get four of these factories um, on one of these fours. So let's just build two for now. And then they'll have to be hooked up to power to actually run. Our base will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines, solar panels, and carbonium power plants. Solar panels are very efficient, but they don't produce energy at night. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. 
Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid right. using energy connectors. Yeah, so it's basically they connect typical all buildings power within their area of operation, even if so power lines are not visible. One on these, one of these carbonian, what is it, generators? Oh, carbonium power plant. Um, eventually built two. And then, unfortunately, that uses up this four over here, so I don't think you can actually build one of the remember to connect all buildings to the power grid. That's okay. Energy connectors now distribute to power connected. to all buildings within their operating radius. Yeah, we'll use the headquarters as like a connector point. Uh-oh, am I out of resources here? Come on. Wow. I didn't realize I built it so far away. Oh, I'm out of resources, that's why. So I'm gonna steal some of these, don't mind me. Doing your guys' job, but whatever. Alright, hopefully that's enough. Alright, that should connect. Boom! Power on. That's good. These, um,. Carbonian power plants are really powerful, but now I gotta protect both of them, which makes it a hassle. Alright, so let's go ahead and build like a, another wind turbine just to help out. And then these, the solar panels are really cheap um, and really effective, but only during the day. Ashley, I'm detecting a lot of movement to the west. We should build up a defensive perimeter around okay. the base. Looks like Let's the first set up some wave walls and set the way over here. Focus Ooh, our defenses on the western direction. I what that is. They never changed the beginning of this exercise. Is that just these? Captain Novak, we all know your renowned okay, scientific is. background. But your combat yeah, performance in the previous trees. simulation was far from spectacular. Yeah, Slaughtering indigenous creatures was never my area of expertise. Oh. Well, Since you've already done this a couple bunch of, of times, we've introduced some new additions to this okay. course. Let's go ahead and start we'll building We'll see what your area of expertise and, uh, really is. So, I'm just going to start building the wall first so I can get the, the perimeter of this base built and have an idea where what I'm trying to protect. Is that too far down? Let's go for now. Perfect. Not it enough carbon. Very smooth. It's nice that it builds it so fast like that too. Not so enough carbon. You guys need some help here? Another one. Until we get fifty. Boom. Send another one of you guys up here. Help you out as much as I can. Looks like we still have enough power, so we're good there. Alright. Let's finish this wall a little bit more. That's good for now. Let's get this side up. Not enough carbonium. Okay. And eventually I want to make this like double thick, maybe even triple thick. The last wave in this demo, you're not expected to win it, but they just send like a huge amount of enemies at, at you, but we're gonna see how long we can last. Not enough carbonium. So, not enough carbonium. Just, like triple thick. A whole bunch of turrets. Alright. That's good for now. Now let's just worry about building those turrets. 
good for this first wave. Hopefully. Alright. One in each corner. I need to build another mine. Jeez. Need to make sure those are connected to with power. Everything needs power in this game. Make sure this one's connected as well. Alright, let's build some more turrets. I also need to build a gate somewhere. Might as well do that now. Just so I know where it will be. Rotate that there, perfect. Not really in the middle, but whatever. Build a turret on either side. I don't have enough AI cores to support any more defensive towers. You will need to construct additional AI hubs to expand our defenses. Remember to build more power plants before you do that. AI hubs consume a lot of energy. So these, then. Yeah, so these turrets, they have another resource that they consume, which are these AI hubs to actually help automate them. So, I need to build some of these. I'm going to need a lot of them, too. So I plan on making a whole bunch of turrets. Alright, probably need another one of these power plants. Now we should be good on power, especially with those two helping out during the day at least. Okay, I still need to build two more turrets to even begin the first wave. So it's nice that at the beginning you can kind of take your own pace, but then there will be like a wave that comes every two minutes or so. Alright, let's just build these. Too. In case they try to sneak around. Ashley, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid. Sure Energy grounded. connectors distribute power to all buildings within their operating radius. These basic defenses should give us a bit of security, but we should try to surround our entire base with walls and defensive towers. Not enough carbon. Now we got a better wall going on. So it looks like the first wave is coming in in about 40 seconds. Should probably build another mine too, so. We've got full capacity going. Ooh, I hope they don't try to sneak down here. That'd be unfortunate. Not enough carbonium. I have a lot to defend since I tried to use these two mines right at the beginning. I'm detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. Prepare to fight. We're ready for them, Mr. Riggs. Remember to use repair kits if necessary. All right, I'm gonna go out here and try to help them out. Oh, shoot. Ashley, I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons oh, wow. and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, All that right. is an important building. 
I am not detecting any more hostile creatures in the base's vicinity. This needs to be repaired real quick. Well done, Captain Novak. The purpose of this training exercise is to prepare you for intense combat situations. This simulation is based on our long-distance scans of Galatea 37. They may or may not be accurate. You will be alone out there. There will be no communication back home until you can stabilize a rift portal back to Earth. You will have to rely only on your skills and your mecha suit. Cool, let's go Mr. ahead and build Riggs that is the only companion that I need. We can handle the unknown. Just let us do our job. So this will refill all of your weapons and stuff like that with the bullets and then you can also create better weapons like upgrade your weapons and that's where like the RPG fact factor comes into play. Ashley, we should further secure and expand our base. You can build more defenses oh, or really go out and clear out hostile, hostile creatures nests one. to prevent so further attacks. Armory construction finished. We can now use it to craft new items. It will also automatically manufacture ammunition for my weapons. Ammo, that's good. We didn't have any time to study the creatures that are attacking us. The only thing we can do right now is to fight them or strengthen our defenses. We'll need a steel factory to build more towers. We'll have to find an ore deposit to build one. Alright. I need more steel for everything. Dang. Okay. So the hunter steel begins. Walls first. Don't want to block the door. Oh, I did. That's okay though. That's a good idea. The enemy attacks are getting constantly stronger. We need Another. better guns. Actually, I might as well just finish this this wall. them now that now they're blocked they can't even come back nice oh they're trapped in there almost done with this wall i can't even build turrets to protect it all but might as well have it up oops too far Gates. Um, here we go. And one here. Perfect. Take that. Alright, then we'll build one up here. Another gate. And one somewhat in the middle. Alright. Now we're good to go for now. Now I need to find more iron to even build anything. So let's go ahead and see, I'm going to go check out what these flashing things are on the map first. Let's go to this one. This looks like a hive of some sort. Let's look right, inside let's to see if it's occupied. Yards.
so much ammo on this. Oh, hello. Decrease the strength of their attacks. Let's gather all the research samples and rare resources that were in this nest. We can study them later and use them to craft better equipment. Hopefully, I got some iron or something out of that. Uh, 12 iron. Not a whole bunch, but. Let's go back home. Stock up in some ammo. I can build. Nope. Wow, still short on steel. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna go check out that blue one that's up there. game kind of reminds me of Diablo and those dungeon crawlers where you're just like, there's enemies that come from everywhere. Especially when you go to those hives and stuff, or when they're attacking your base. Thank goodness for mech suits. Alright, let's see, iron, anywhere iron? Just more enemies that want to kill me. Go figure. Yeah. And that. Alright. Ooh. What was that? Something flashing over there. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Seriously, though. Oh dang, they're coming from everywhere. All right. That's okay though. This looks like a large Ooh. deposit of ore. Build a steel factory in this area and power it with a carbonium power plant. That's what we need to build anything, it seems like. Alright. This is definitely what we needed. Oh, and it has this little ore here so we can use it to power it. Perfect. Okay. Steel. Use the iron to create steel. Okay. 
Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Uh-oh. What exactly does that mean, though? Use this to power it. Base is under attack. Uh-oh. That's not good. And I can't even see how it's doing. Oh wow. Never mind. Oh, storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. But I'm glad I came back because we're low on storage. And then clean up that mess, right? Okay. Go ahead and build a storage. Storage. Perfect. Um, then can I build a power battery? Or what is this? Energy storage. That's what I need. Especially for these solar panels. Okay. Got all my ammo back. Let's go finish what we started up here. Entrance is over here. Keep forgetting. Okay. Right. Took you guys up. Okay, there Mr. Riggs, we we've got steel production up and running. Ashley, I would strongly advise you to place a rift portal near this factory. This way, we can quickly get back to this location if it comes under threat. It would also be advised to place additional sentinel towers to defend this outpost. Remember to connect the towers to the power grid using energy connectors. We're just gonna need a whole bunch of power. Go power crazy here. some more of these, why not? Make sure they're connected. And I'm going to build a wall here, so get our defense here. The last thing I need to lose. Get this side going. Actually, I need another turret. Yeah. I think everything over here is protected by that, those rocks. So let's just get a wall here. Oops. And then another gate. Not enough AI, go figure. Warning, hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. And I need to build this rift portal as well. So this is, let's see. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Oh, steel storage. Base is under attack. Uh-oh, time to use that rift portal. Select any of the available rift portals to instantly teleport to that location. Awesome. Traveling through rifts is almost instant and doesn't consume any resources. Dang, these turrets and wall, man. They are... They don't even need me. Just need to repair it. This side is taking a beating, that's for sure. Oh, man. 
That was definitely the cell. Awesome. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Control Z that. Oh well, I got plenty of resources. In fact, we're gonna triple it. some more turrets in here because we definitely need it. And we're, we're going to need some more of those AI things for sure. Yep. But now I got so much resources flowing in. So much power. Make sure these things are connected. There. Cool. One in the corner. One by the door for good. Safe measures. Here, why not? Make sure they're connected. There. Maybe get another wind turbine here just in case if that thing runs out I'm in trouble that's for sure Creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. Uh oh. We got another one. Alright. Luckily, it's coming from the north again. I'll just finish these walls and then I'm gonna go back to. Not enough carbon. Oh snap. I can't even get out in time. Well, I'll just pretend like I helped. I will definitely help by making sure this is connected. There. Alright, I'm gonna teleport back. I need to finish this one up. Gotta love that. Alright. Connect. And then... I need two more. Their AI thing. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Hmm. Uh, I will build one once, or maybe like, I guess I have to build it here. Hmm. I need this more though right now. Come on. Maybe I can help it out. <laughs> that last bit. Alright.
I really need to strengthen these walls too, for sure. Okay. Sentinel towers are ready. They should be able to fend off small groups of attackers. That's good. I'm detecting hostile creatures heading towards our new mining outpost. What? They're not going to give us a break, are they? I'm glad I built these walls up. Not enough cargo race is under attack. Oh snap. Not enough carbon. Oh snap. What about this? We've defended attack. the mining base, but I'm sensing another attack heading towards our headquarters. We should return there quickly. The HQ yeah. has a permanent rift portal. We can rift jump to its location at any moment. Let's go. First, I want to build this up, or repair it at least. Not sell it. Okay, and build those walls again real quick. Warning, hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. Right, we should go there board. and clear it out. All right, we still doing good here. Let me triple this up. Base is under attack. Dang, there are so many turrets. They can even do anything. Oh wow. Air humidity is rising. It's going to rain in a moment. For the first time, okay. Hopefully, it doesn't snow. It's raining. It will decrease the output from solar panels until oh. it stops. That's good. I only had two of them, so I'm sure they were the ones really keeping this city alive. All right, I really need to double up everywhere in this. I really hope these rocks can't get destroyed either. Then I'd be really in trouble. Not enough carbonium. Darn. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities.
definitely more turrets. The rain is over. We survived the rain. Good job, team. Alright, let's go ahead and kill this hive real quick. And then I'll finish. I definitely blocked myself in. That's awesome. Go for this. Bring it. Oh, and I also need to craft it Warning. as well. Most of the creatures are coming from a nearby NC here. Go there and send it out in the simulation's construct. Oh, wow, this environment has been created by combining long distance quantum scans of Galatea 37 and other known planets that share similar yeah. properties. Gathering all of this data has taken many years, and we were only able to scan a small fraction of the planet. It's enough to know that we can survive there. I can't wait to make the jump. Everything is going to be new there and waiting to be studied and explored. And waiting to eat us. Let's not get dramatic, Mr. Riggs. A five meters tall mech suit with mini guns and power blades should be enough to fend off a few hungry creatures. A few hundred? I feel like I've killed more than that now. Oh, hello, I need to see those. Yeah. single species of creatures around this nest. We should be careful. Right, bringing out that flamethrower again. The dash is really nice. Because it goes pretty far distance. Oh, except for when you dash right into other people. And that's when it doesn't work so well. species of creatures around here. Right, they appear as if back. all of them were working together just against us. I wonder if that's just a part of the simulation, Still or if the Galatean creatures are really facilities. going to be that smart. That would make studying them much more interesting. And much more dangerous. It looks like we've cleared them out. Let's hope this will give us some time to build up our base. I did put down a bunch of turrets, so maybe. Um, and also storage, right? There. Enjoy. Warning! I'm detecting a huge swarm of enemy creatures heading towards our base. Uh oh. It's showing up on my seismic detectors. It's Earth much bigger way. than anything we've seen before. We don't have much time. We have to I set up as many down. defensive towers as we can. 
Also remember to build up more walls and lay all the mines that we can. I also need to craft. So in here, I can actually craft different guns. So I think I'm gonna upgrade that. Crafting completed. All right, and then, oops. Turrets, lots of turrets. I'll make sure they're connected. Alright, those are online. Those are online. Another turret, and let's get walls. enough. I'm also just going to build one for safe measure. One that's like further back. Actually one that can like... Oh, that sucks. I need to build another one of these. Hopefully if those things get destroyed, like... I was an actual player. I'd just go for those things, man. Seriously, not enough power? There's some more of these down, I guess. I can sense the hostile swarm moving closer towards our base. This attack is going to be much bigger than anything that we've seen before. Yeah, we it. still have some time, Mr. Riggs. We can set up multiple layers of walls around our base and place as many defensive towers as we can. You can also use your drill to excavate additional nope, resources here, if our factories are producing them too slow. Captain Novak, you're not the only candidate for the mission to Galatea 37. You'd better up those combat statistics if you want to qualify for that jump. We're investing too many resources into this mission just to send a scientist that's going to be eaten by a pack of angry animals. Show us that you can survive out there. Yes, sir. Are we running out of... Oh. The wind is picking up speed. Good. Loose objects are starting to fly. Oh, no, that's not good. I think it's running out of... Wind speed is at an exceptional high. Wind turbine efficiency is at maximum. This is not going to be good. It's like half the turrets are on. Um. Okay. At least. Man, I need those things to build more. Oh, and these need to be. Faster. Here, I'll put. These things are really cheap, so I'll just try to build a whole bunch of them. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. It's great that those power plants run out right when it, it matters. I wonder if I can destroy one of these guys. The that. wind is calming down. Wind turbine power output is coming back to normal. That would be really helpful if this works. The 
alien swarm is approaching. Oh, great. Shields enabled. Maximizing power outputs. That's not even connected. This is it, Mr. Riggs. Ready your guns. Let's show them what we can do. Is that gonna connect? Nope. No power. Okay. Base is under attack. Alright, we gotta help the base. Here we go. What? They're already breaking through the walls. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay. I need to build this platform so I can actually go over the walls and look. There is a breach in our walls. Race is under attack. Turrets, help me out. Oh, great. They're in. Got it. Alright, got those guys. Oh, snap. This side's not doing well, though. Oh, snap. Oh, man. They're like. Yep. They're definitely. I think more than just one of our walls has been destroyed. Come on, you got this. This is what we pay you for, right? Destroy those enemies. Oh, man. There is a breach in our walls. Alright. Base is under attack. Flamethrower time. Actually, we're doing pretty well. Over here, at least. Let's see how it is over here. Okay. Wall destroyed. It's it's going pretty well actually. Just out of ammo and everything. There is a breach in the wall. Base is under attack. Um, power. Give you turbines, sure. And the biomass. Should have built this sooner. And I think Ashley, we've defeated the first attack wave. Oh, Quickly, perfect. Repair whatever you can. There should be more of them coming. This attack was a lot stronger. I don't know if we can hold out much longer. Wild problem. animals don't behave like that. They shouldn't act like a sentient army. You will be going to an alien planet not enough full of unknown life forms. Do not assume that you know what kind of dangers might be lurking there. Your primary objective is to survive. If something is trying to kill you, it doesn't matter if it's sentient or not. Adapt or die. Warning. More enemies are heading towards our base. Oh. Things are escalating quickly. We have to gear up before the second wave hits our walls. Not enough Let's show them who they're dealing with. Okay. Not Two enough minutes. That's great. Um, we will... Yeah, there's just some holes in here, but no biggie. Uh, let's see if I can get to this carbonium mine out here. Alright, let's see. Great, I don't have any resources. That's good news. 15. Oh, I can just... I might have to do it myself. Alright. Let's see if we can get enough. Steel storage is full. Oh, at least we have enough steel. That's, that's good news. Alright. Now we need to connect this somehow. Oh, it's not going to go through the wall, is it? That's unfortunate. Alright, I guess I will have to set something up out here. Great, this thing is going to get destroyed so fast. And... Things aren't even connected anymore. 
upgrade, and I don't even have enough money for that. This is not gonna go well. Oh, 24 seconds, that's good. I fed the biomass thing, but it is not enough to power everything. Awesome. Warning! More enemies are heading towards our base. Cool. Threat level maximum. I'm disabling all secondary systems and diverting all power to your guns. It's either us or them. And this armory thing doesn't even have enough power to get me ammo. I'm just gonna have to sell this. All right, get back inside. Base under attack. That was a pretty intense ending, especially having no resources. I probably should have built more carbonium factories in the beginning to help support building a three layer wall, but oh well. I still had a fun time playing the demo, and I really look forward to the release of this game, just to see how fun the campaign truly is. But I bet it will be hard to get the storyline of StarCraft 2 out of my head while playing it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like. Also, make sure to let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments, or if there is a certain game you would like me to make a video about. If you're still watching this video and haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you'll never miss a Mad Llama Gaming video again. Make sure to check out my latest video and most recommended video as well. Also, subscribe to my other social media accounts, links are in the description below.